how to replace the bias or CMOS, I guess that's how you pronounce it, CMOS battery on a desktop computer. What you want to do is go ahead and have the computer shut down. I'm going to slide it out. I got mine out somewhat. And what you want to do after you pull it out, go ahead and unplug the main power cable in the back of it. Then after you've done that on certain computers, yours may have a tab. They can pull it up to take off this cover here. Mine, it's just got uh, two screws on the back of it. You remove those two screws of it. And you have like a little pull handle here. You want to go ahead and pull on that to take the cover off. It would be kind of hard. It would be in there a little bit tough to get it in there because it's got these little grooves up here that locks into place. So after you've done that, that's what the inside of the computer looks like. And you know, kind of look around for it. It's going to be like a little button sized battery for like a watch. And mine will be right here. Off you'll be able to see what shows Energizer. And to get that, you can use your fingernails. I've seen people do fingernails. I, best way for me to do is do it by a little, little small mini flathead screwdriver. I was told there's also a tab somewhere along here. That you can press on and it can help pop the battery out. Not those two, four tabs up there. That's for the memory card. What you want to do is just, like I said, take your finger. You can unplug the wires if you want, but remember where they go back in. Just kind of pop the battery out. Yeah. It'd be great if you like had fingernails because that that help out with it. I had to go and get me a little flathead screwdriver. So what I find best on it, I don't know if you'll be able to see it too well or not. Let's see if I can get the flashlight to be propped up somehow. Right, yeah, still not the best lighting, but hopefully you can see what I'm doing. And there's going to be a little black thing around the battery. This side's got like a little groove on it. So what I like to do is put the little flathead screwdriver between the little groove and the battery. I can get it in there. And just kind of pu push it in there and pop the battery out. Alright, and just kind of pop it out of place. And out it goes. Go and fish it out. The battery you'll need. The CR2032 for the computer, depending on, this is a Dell 45.4 or 54.5, I believe, I believe that's what that is, 545, so that's what this uh, computer requires. You will need to look it up, depending on what kind of computer yours is, and find out what battery yours take. This is still good, so to reinstall it, basically vice versa, kind of get it into its little place here. Give it a good firm push. You want to make sure that the plus is facing towards you. You can see the plus is that way. And you see it's in there all the way. So after you've done that, you can just take all whatever tools you got in it. Take that out. And go ahead and put your cover back in place. Find there's a little groove so it just slides right into place. Give it a good firm push and lock it in.